Not even the depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. Well, good morning, everybody. So we at a delivery right now out in Coventry on a one lane road. We got one skid to drop off. This ought to be fun. How you doing? Am I able to get out that way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can right up. We take, we can take the sharp right and it, there's two roads on that. Mm -hmm. Parallel. We can, mm -hmm. we can make a right turn and just take your second right and it'll bring you right back out to the south. Alright, I'll see what it looks like when I get down there. Yep, just this last skid right here. I could go right. Okay, so I'll let you know. Yep. Alright, cool. Behind my cool. This ought to be fun. Oh, so I got this platform up here uh, for lawnmowers. The Lisbon store actually built it, but I told them to make some modifications to it. <coughs> so I told them to lower one side so it could be like a ramp and I could just so slightly push the uh, the tractor off. I'm sorry. You do all your company do all the delivery for Home Depot. Yep. Yep. Where are you out of? Uh, every store in the state of Connecticut, parts of Rhode Island, parts of Massachusetts. Doesn't matter. Where's your company headquarters? New London. I just have to take a quick picture of it. Oh, 
All right, you're all set, bud. All right, hey, stay safe. You as well, man. Be good, be safe. Stay healthy. Amazing how maneuverable those machines are, huh? Sometimes it's not the machine, it's the driver. <laughs> Tell you what, though, it takes a lot of practice to become one with this machine. All right. Yep, six days a week. I've been doing this for like three years, but it's, uh... I would make some modifications to it if I could, if I could design my own, but it is what it is. What, the front ones? Well, like, like after you just picked up that pallet. Oh, to make it like crab walk? Yeah, nah, that would cause, that would cause too much of an issue. Yeah. They have machines that do that already. There are special Moffets that make the machine crab walk, but when your machine is capable of more customers expect you to do more that might not always be the safest bet yeah you know i you know i've had customers that that want me to basically make the machine crab walk along the side of their house through to their backyard and i'm like this machine doesn't crab walk yeah. they're like oh well the one at lowe's does and i'm like yeah well your back if your backyard slopes what do you think is going to happen that lumber is going to come sliding right off yeah Especially if you're on a construction site or something too, right? Yep. Sure so, yeah, I don't, I don't bother with this. It's, it's not my forte. So, but you're all set, bud. Have a great day. Yes, sir. All right, another successful delivery. So now the fun part, getting out of here. Come out, but you're gonna have to make another tight turn on your way back out to do it. So, uh, well, it, looks, it looks best for you. I mean, does, the, does this road go to the left as well? No, just this association here. They're all separate lake association, beach association. Mm. So you gotta go right, but you got two roads to pick from when you get down there. Gotcha. All right, cool. I'll figure something out. Thank you. Uh, the other possibility is you just back right up and take that left hand, that right hand turn right here that you just mm -hmm. passed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing a right turn over there. I mean, right here, there's a, there's that third telephone pole, there's a road right there. Gotcha. Alright, yeah, that, I don't know, I'll take a look. Thank you. Thank you, Yes, sir. Let's see. Let's see what kind of shenanigans. So you know what? Because that leads down to the water. I don't know if I want to do it just for the sake of this video. I don't think I'm going to make that turn just by looking at it from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my floodlights on and reverse and just test out the waters on that back road back there and see, uh, I'm going to pull up first and then, uh, straighten out a little bit. Sometimes backing in will be the safer bet than you trying to navigate through uncharted territory with a rig this size. Especially like when you're near water, it's like, man, it's like a hit or a miss kind of thing, you know? When you're near water, it's like, it could go south really quick. And sometimes you don't wanna you don't want to have to take that risk unless you 
absolutely have to because I would say seven times out of ten it does not pay off. I'm gonna let this guy go. Since that road leads right down to the water, I don't even think I'm if I'm gonna be able to make this damn turn. Uh, that's gonna be stupid tight. So I might as well just keep backing up because that's not going to work. Oh, this fucking truck is aggravating. Some people don't they don't realize how much space you need to turn one of these rigs. So if that turn was anything like the turn that was all the way at the bottom, oh I would have been pissed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just ride this edge all the way down, so. Or up, I should say. I'm get as close as I can to it.
is that the street is getting tighter and tighter the farther up I go. So makes me have to just recorrect the tractor. Back up my trailer that way because I'm pretty sure I gotta go that way. 